Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Get Good at Open Rollercoast Tycoon 2. Now, if you've seen uh, episode 6 of my multiplayer server, you may have noticed uh, all the cars driving around in the city. And that's actually a trick that's quite easy to do. And in this episode, I'll show you how to uh, make, uh, make these cars drive on the road. Anyway, I'll just uh, delete these uh, existing rides and then we'll quickly make uh, our own car ride which uh, goes around the block here. So, to start off, uh, we'll enable the disable clearance cheat, disable clearance checks cheat, and let's build a station here, an entrance and then exit. Now we'll need the allow chain lifts on all track pieces cheat now. And yeah, we'll stick to that for now. And let's just uh, make it go around the block here. So yeah, I put the chain lift on the track and we can just continue building like this. If you cannot see uh, where the where you are actually building, you can uh, enable see-through paths here in this uh, eye menu, and then you can just uh, continue building like this with the uh, paths invisible. Now, because we put the chain lift on the track here, that means that the cars will actually be going faster. Now let's uh, enable the arbitrary ride type changes cheat and unlock operating limits. And what we'll do then is we'll change the car ride to a coaster type. Let's do the corkscrew roller coaster. And now we can uh, change the lift hill change speed. Let's put it to yeah 27 should be okay. And now we test the ride, and now the car is going around on this uh, coaster track. Now if we change it to a lift ride type, that means the track will become uh, invisible. And now we have cars driving around on our roads and on this path here. So yeah, that's really how to do it. Uh, if you want uh, guests to ride your uh, your cars, uh, yeah, we should open the ride, of course. And because we changed it to a lift ride type, which is a transport ride, uh, guests will always ride the, this ride, regardless of the intensity. Because guests will always ride free transport rides in Open Road Coast Tycoon 2. So that's a good way to get guests uh, to ride this uh, right uh, regardless of the uh, intensity now if you don't want the cars to leave unless there are uh, any guests in it uh, you should take here any load and this check mark of course it's in test mode now but when we open it the cars will only leave when there's at least one guest in them and i think these cars actually always need two guests in them to uh, to actually uh, leave the station Now, this is not the only uh, type of car that it looks uh, nice with. So, let's uh, do another cheat, because why not? Show vehicles from other track types. Now, some uh, cars which also look nice are, of course, the pickup trucks. They're nice for road traffic. You could use the automobile cars from the the mini uh, roller coaster does also look uh, quite good and there's actually more uh, car types that you can use but these are the the most uh, used ones now if you want uh, this track to cross another track let's make another car right here so we can have more traffic 
and I'll just make the track visible again. Now, when we uh, cross another track, we actually have to make sure that we don't cross a, yeah, a track piece of the same type. For example, I'll just now make a silly turn. Uh, if we build through this track here now, we'll actually have two straight pieces here in the same tile. And that may actually uh, merge, and that's something we want to avoid. I'm not sure if this also happens if you have two different tracks, but it happens for sure if you uh, if you cross your own track. So what I usually do in these situations, I just take a corkscrew roller coaster or any other coaster type which has banked track, and instead I cross the track with a banked track piece. And because uh, the bank track piece is a different track type than the straight piece, that means that the, the two tracks will not merge and they will both keep going on their own track. So here I will do the same. If I want to cross the original track, I will just use a banked uh, track piece. So I'm sure they won't merge. Um, if you do this, you should only use uh, cars that don't actually have sprites for a bank track. For example, the sports cars from the car ride, they, they don't have uh, banked sprites. So they will just uh, drive normally on these banked uh, pieces. The automobile cars from the mini coaster, they do have banked sprites. So they will actually bank on this uh, piece of track. And that's something you don't want. Because that will look uh, silly unless you make uh, stunt cars or something. Anyway, that was this uh, easy tutorial on making uh, traffic in your, uh, in your parks. Uh, sometimes I see people who uh, hide their track pieces with uh, corrupt elements using the tile inspector. Uh, that's something you do not want to do because, uh, because there's a chain lift on your uh, track. Uh, it will actually uh, make noise when the cars drive on it and the corrupt uh, pieces don't do anything about the noise. If you change your uh, car to a lift or elevator in American English, uh, it will actually be completely silent. And that's usually what you want for, your, uh, for the cars in your park. Alright, that was it for this tutorial. I hope it's useful for you and I hope to see you again in the next one. See you later.